It's nice that, that, that it's not so far down. I don't really want to touch whatever this is on the ground. I went to her 80th birthday last year. Um, and she always takes the motor home because my grandma's very like particular, you know, she doesn't want people in her house. And things. I need a toilet bowl brush because she might keep it sticky this time. <laughs> laughing but he can't do it with when. So Fisher Bishop? Fisher Bishop, yeah.
See this? Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yep, hold it there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Places. It's that purple flower. It grows a lot in the fall. These are things I'm learning. I'm like, I should have gotten five bags of that. <laughs> it tasted so good. Is it all gone? There was a lot in that bag when oh, I put mine in. There's more for tomorrow. Yeah. But so, that's all I have. I all I got was that little tiny bag of it. And I didn't realize it was going to be I so good. I think you're going to be making a stop in <laughs> He held the fart? Is that what he said? Instead of blowing it right in my face. <laughs> That's a gentleman. Very? You're very dirty. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna go wash them off. What's dirty, your feet? Yeah. There's a chair right here. Yeah, it looks like. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Don't make us disappointed. So here we are, thank you for indulging my artistic uh, experiment there with the Evil Cap Wilderness video. But before the video ends, I wanted to make sure to give you a good rundown of the area, a quick guide on how you can plan your own trip, and the book that I used to plan this trip is just called Backpacking Oregon. You can find it on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. And the trip I picked was number 19 in the book, The Southern Wallawas Traverse. The more popular Eagle Cap Wilderness backpack is the Wallawa River Loop that you can find in this book as well. It's on the north side of the wilderness, right outside Joseph, Oregon. The reason I picked the Southern Wallawas Traverse is because there's much less traffic back there. And as you can see in the video, we did not see many people. This trip is super customizable, so I'll share what we did and give you several options for planning your own trip. So there's three different trailheads you can go from back here. There's the Buck Creek Trailhead, the West Eagle Meadows Trailhead, and the Boulder Park Campground Trailhead. Now we chose to stay at West Eagle Meadows in the middle and start our hike from there. Plenty of camping around that area, it's really nice. If you are going to go to West Eagle Meadows or Boulder Park Campground, it's really important to be aware that Google Maps isn't quite up to date. You're looking for Eagle Creek Road. Google might give you several options. That will be one of them, and that's the one you wanna choose. You wanna take Eagle Creek Road into West Eagle Meadow Campground or Boulder Park Campground. Since we had two cars, we did a nice quick shuttle. That is one of the reasons we stayed at West Eagle Meadow. The shuttle was really simple. It's about a 15, 20 minute, uh, six mile drive down to Boulder Park Campground. So we just left a car at Boulder Park Campground and started our hike from West Eagle Meadows. And we actually went backwards to start our hike. We wanted to check out Tombstone Lake, which is the first lake in the video. So we hiked north up to Tombstone Lake and stayed there for one night. It is a long trek up and a long trek down on your way back. So it was mostly up to Tombstone Lake and then the next day we went down. For night two, we actually stopped back at West Eagle Meadows Campground and stayed the night there before tackling the biggest part of the hike. After a night at Tombstone Lake and a night at West Eagle Meadow Campground, we headed back up past Echo Lake and stayed at Traverse Lake. It's all uphill to Traverse Lake, but it puts you right underneath Wonkers Pass. So from Traverse Lake, it's a pretty quick, pretty easy 600 foot climb to Wonkers Pass. Uh, I am really glad that we went west to east. I don't know if we actually would have been able to get up Wonkers Pass from Boulder Park Campground. I would definitely recommend if you're going to tackle that pass, coming either from Buck Creek Trailhead or West Eagle Meadow Campground, coming from the west and heading east. A nice sketchy climb down, another climb back up, where we took this shortcut here and headed on through and stayed at this little place called Arrow Lake. There's also Heart Lake down there, but Arrow Lake, we just wanted some privacy. It was a really small lake, no fish in there, uh, but you will probably have it all to yourself. The next day, it was all downhill, 
back to Boulder Park Campground where we got in the car, took our quick shuttle back to West Eagle Meadow Campground. Some of the other hikes you can do here obviously is going from Buck Creek Trailhead all the way across to Boulder Park Campground. That's the longest through hike that I see back here. If you're by yourself or you have one car, I would go to Boulder Park Campground and I would do this lollipop loop here all the way up to Eagle Lake, Cache Lake, around Arrow Lake and Heart Lake and back out. There's also some good side lakes like Culver Lake, Bear Lake, Looking Glass Lake. You can add them to your lollipop loop or you can just make it a quick overnight trip from Boulder Park Campground up to those lakes and then back out again. So there you have it, the Eagle Cap Wilderness. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.